So the first row is... Oh. <laughs> this one's more of a white highlighting shade. This one's more of a beige, but this one doesn't have any shimmer. Oh my god, I don't know what to talk about. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So, hi guys! Today, I just want to talk about the NYX highlight and contour pro palette I was so excited that this came out now the drugstore actually has a highlighting and contouring palette so I thought that was super exciting and during this video I also just want to kind of touch base on two new lip products that NYX came out with so I'll talk about those at the end of the video so there have been not even mixed reviews a lot of people have not liked this palette which I don't understand why. This retails for $24.99 at Ulta. That's where I got um, this one. Now you can use the $350 off $10 or more that Ulta usually comes out with or they usually have like a 20% off which right now um, starting yesterday they had a 20% off of your purchase or like one item. So you can totally use that on NYX Cosmetics, which is great. So altogether, this palette comes with eight shades, four highlighting, four contouring. So the first one that we have right here is a pearlescent white shade for highlighting. This is more of a shade where you want to highlight the cheekbones or highlight the bridge of your nose. This one is a satin beige, beige shade. <laughs> Um, this is more of your banana color where you put underneath your eyes. This one as well you can put underneath your eyes. And this one is a beige highlighting shade, just like the first one. So it has shimmer in it. So this one has shimmer and so does this one. These two are more satin based. I do find that the shades in this palette aren't matte, which is great. I usually gravitate bronzers that are more satin because... I mean, I don't really have naturally matte skin, and I kind of like the appearance of a natural makeup look, so I like that these are satin and not matte, because satin kind of just blends into the skin better, it makes it look a little bit more natural when you go to highlight and contour. The bottom shades down here are all satin as well. I love, love, love that a palette finally came out with cooler toned bronzers. Orange based or orange toned bronzers are fine. A lot of people like those and that's fine for warming up the face, but, but, in general, when you go in to highlight and contour your face, the hollows of your cheeks aren't naturally brown. They have more of that shadow color. And shadows, obviously, are more of a gray, taupey shade. I love that they came out with cool toned um, contouring shades, which, oh my god, that's just awesome. Because if you're going for that real artistry kind of makeup look, this would be perfect for you. Now these are a little bit chalky which I kind of don't have a problem with because I kind of know how to deal with chalky products. Um, when you go in with your brush, which I usually like to use this to contour, you just want to dab it in there. Just a quick dab. You don't even need to swirl your brush in there because you're going to get way too much product and it's going to look muddy and it's just going to be too much for your face. So you just want to lightly dab it into the product and then I like to just tap off the excess and then go into it. I almost feel as if people don't like it because they're either using too much of the product or they don't like cooler toned bronzers or... I, I'm not really sure. I honestly... Honestly, honestly, I do really love this palette. I think it's great for drugstore. I mean, obviously there's a million palettes in the world right now because contouring and highlighting is kind of like a big deal. But I don't think that this is like garbage. Not at all. Um, you know, like I said, they can be a little bit chalky. And if you don't use a light hand, they can look muddy and they kind of can look a mess on your face. So that's just my tip with using this palette is to really use a light hand and just go in softly and just really buff it out. Um, I will say that you kind of have to work fast with these powders because when I was doing the demo today, it kind of feels like it gets, um, kind of stuck in one area which again can kind of make your skin look a little bit muddy which 
This is the look I'm going for nowadays. So I just like to buff it in really quick while using a light hand. So you don't want to use too much. You just want to use a little, put it into where you want, and then buff it out really quick so it doesn't have time to like settle into your skin. Which is weird because powder usually doesn't settle into your skin, but... <laughs> Next is also coming out with um, refills. So if you want to switch out any... Um, shades that you don't like and maybe put in shades that are better suitable for your skin tone um these just pop right out i usually use tweezers like the end of a tweezer and just kind of pop them out that way don't recommend this palette if you want to bronze up your face i would strictly just use it for highlighting and contouring um these are perfect shades for that whether you're light skin dark skin medium skin I think this would look beautiful on you but if you want to kind of like bronze up your face or kind of like blend out your contour more or just make your face look a little bit more tanner I would go with something like a bronzing face powder this is the one from NYC this is the smooth skin bronzing face powder and mine's in the shade sunny this is perfect for if you just want to bronze up your face and not do a contour because contouring and um, bronzing are two different things two different worlds so if you want to kind of like contour your face you kind of want to um, make your cheekbones stand out kind of emphasize the hollows that are in your face but if you want to bronze up your face this is when you go in with um, a face powder that's a little bit darker than you just so you can kind of make your face look glowy and healthier and just bronze <laughs> That's what I usually use just the bronze on my face, but if I really want to like contour, I go in with contour palettes or contour powders. Since this palette is in the middle of if people love it or people like it, personally, I really do like it. I really, really do. But if you do go out and try it, I do recommend that you keep your receipt because, you know, not every product works for everyone and not the products that work for me are going to work for you guys, unfortunately, um, which sucks because... I don't want to recommend products to you guys and then not have them work for you. So just keep the receipt. If it doesn't end up working out, you can always return it. Alta has a 60-day period for when you can return things. I really think that you guys should try this just to see how it is. The pigmentation is amazing. That's just one swipe. Like, it's insane. The pigmentation is great. They're really silky, really smooth. Um... I think that they blend out really easily as long as you work with it fast. So just do one side at a time and just kind of blend it out and use, again, a light hand. The drugstore is finally kind of like stepping up their game and kind of coming out with products that are that you're more likely to find in higher end. I think that's great so that if you're on a budget, you don't always have to run over to the high end side. You know what I mean? Because like that can get expensive real quick. So you know, when you pop these out, they are not magnetic so it won't be able to go into a z palette unless you get magnets and kind of put them on the back of these don't have the shades on the back of these as well kind of like the anastasia contouring palette does it doesn't have the the names if you guys want to see kind of like a faithful five contouring palette or let's talk contouring palette kind of video um leave me a comment down below if you want to see that or give this video a thumbs up and i will totally do that for you guys because there's so many contour and highlighting palettes out right now and i would love to just kind of go over the ones that i think are great and kind of worth the money so you guys kind of have a better understanding of what's out there and what's actually worth trying <laughs> if you guys have any more questions about the nyx contouring highlight palette do not hesitate to leave comments down below and i will totally answer them for you so let's move on to the two new lip products that nyx has come out with i don't have all the shades i wish i did <laughs> i got two so i could try the first one is the nyx intense butter glosses this is in the shade spice cake oh my gosh these are insane let me tell you so this is what the regular nyx butter gloss packaging looks like and then this is what the intense butter gloss packaging looks like so you all know that i love the nyx butter glosses love them the consistency is great they don't smell weird they're not sticky they're just really buttery and smooth but we all know that the one thing that was lacking is how long they last on the lips these last on the lips <laughs> so the one that i got again is just spice cake and look at how pigmented these are ready oh 
you know they kept the pigmentation they kept how buttery and smooth they are on the lips but they added the long-lasting factor that was missing in the original butter glosses so these are amazing the one thing that i don't like is that they kind of can get messy now what i mean by that is i was wearing this throughout the day and they kind of move so if a piece of hair got into my face and i kind of went like this to get out of the way i would have like a streak so i don't like that about these little guys i don't know why that did that i mean this one the regular butter glosses don't do that I don't know, maybe because it is so intense and so pigmented. So just be careful. Just kind of like check the mirror once in a while if you're wearing these little guys. I do think that they're worth the money. And right now, NYX is doing buy one, get one half off. And then you can use that 350 off 10 or the 20%. 20% is going on right now. So you could definitely save some money with these little guys. And I think that they're great for the drugstore. Those lip glosses are just amazing. I love them. And then they also came out with the high voltage lipstick. <gasps> This is in the shade Stone. Actually, what I'm wearing on my lips right now, I am literally obsessed with this taupey color. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I don't like nudes. I just find them to be super boring. So I don't really wear them often. But when I saw this like taupey gray shade, I was like, yes, give it to me. <laughs> it is what I have on my lips, and I am obsessed. I just think it's like this nice... A transition between taupe and a beige I just think it's a perfect perfect color these are super um, lightweight on the lips and they're very hydrating and they go on so smooth I think these are totally worth the money as well they're amazing and they're not sticky and they kind of last for a good amount of time on the lips as well it almost feels like a lip balm but they're a lipstick so what more could you ask for those are amazing I love them <laughs> So that concludes this video on NYX. They're coming up with a lot more spring 2015 makeup items, and I'm super excited about it. I know that they're coming out with a, um, a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I'm super excited because paying $23 gets old after a while. <laughs> so I'm excited to try that little guy to see if it actually does work well, like the Anastasia one. I know that it does have the little small... Um, pencil so hopefully it's a winner winner chicken dinner thank you so much for watching you guys and if you have any other requests for videos please leave them in the comments below next time i'll talk to you guys later